Two of Canada's largest grocery stores have reported an increase in profits. Loblaw reported a third quarter profit of $621 million. That's up from $556 million a year ago. Metro also reported a $222 million profit in the company's fourth quarter. That was up from $168 million in the same quarter last year. Keep in mind that grocers have been under pressure from Ottawa to stabilize food prices as Canadians deal with the fallout from high inflation and a series of interest rate hikes. Joining me now to discuss is Sylvain Charlebois, Senior Director, Agri-Food Analytics Lab at Dalhousie University. Good morning, Sylvain. Good morning. So, it is not lost on many of us the timing uh, that is not great for the grocers. One day after a major report on food insecurity in this country, Loblaws and Metro report a big increase in profit in the third quarter. What does this say to you? That's right. So let's look at both separately. So let's start with Loblaw. So Loblaw's uh, food same store sales are up about 4.6 percent, which is, which is actually below uh, the actual food inflation rate. Uh, so uh, if you look at pharmacy sales, pharmacy sales are up almost 8 percent. So Loblaws is making money with their pharmacy division, shoppers particularly, of course. And so uh, it's hard to blame Loblaws uh, for profiteering just based on food sales alone. That's one thing. Now, let's look at Metro. Metro uh, offers a different story. And when you look at food same store sales, they're actually above food inflation, which could mean they're actually making a lot of money selling food specifically, despite the uh, the strike they had to deal with in Toronto over the summer, the five week strike affecting 25 seven stores. Metro really did well this uh, this last quarter. Last month, the federal government announced that grocery stores had promised to do something to stabilize prices. At one point, Thanksgiving um, was a deadline. Do you see any changes being implemented in stores? Is this plan by the federal government, and we don't know a lot of details about it, actually helping consumers, Sylvan? I, I think the situation is improving when you look at food prices specifically, uh, staples like, for example, flour. Uh, if you look at uh, some of the things that people buy every single day, coffee, things like that, prices are actually dropping. Uh, prices are actually lower than in August. But it has nothing to do with Ottawa. I don't think Ottawa can do much uh, of anything other than uh, perhaps send threats to grocers. Uh, Essentially, what's going on right now is that the market is actually taking care of food inflation. We are expecting the food inflation rate to continue to drop. We'll hear more from Statistics Canada next week uh, about uh, numbers in October. We are expecting a food inflation rate to be at around 5%, which is exactly what, what we predicted a year ago. So things are really improving, but I, Ottawa has little to do with it. Sylvain, thank you so much. Appreciate you being with us. Sylvain Charlebois is the Senior Director with the Agri-Food Analytics Lab at Dalhousie.